Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve equations with decimals. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, solve y plus 2.3 equals a negative 4.7. Well, the subtraction property of equality states that I can subtract a number to both sides of the equation if it's the same number. I want to eliminate that 2.3. So if I subtract a 2.3 to both sides right here, what do I have left? Well, I have the 2.3's cancel on the left. We're good there, and I have y by itself. Now on the right, this is a little interesting. Negative 4.7 minus a 2.3. But subtracting a 2.3 is the same thing as adding a negative. So if I write add a negative 2.3, both of these numbers are, well, negative and we're adding together. So we kind of can treat them like they're positive numbers, knowing that they need to be negative. So to add it up, 3 and 7 becomes a 10. 0 here. Put the decimal place, carry the 1. And then we have a negative 1, or ignore the negatives right now, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Now, we don't really need to write the point 0 um, there, but we do need to write the negative. So we can rewrite this as y equals a negative 7 right here. All right. Well, now we need to check that, make sure that works. So let's check that. To check it, I rewrite my equation, y plus a 2.3 equals a negative 4.7. So the 2, negative 7, and for y, so I have a negative 7 here, plus a 2.3 equals a negative 4.7. Now if you remember from before, we have a negative plus a positive, we're going to be subtracting them. We need to find the difference between 7 and 2.3, and identify that, well, 7 is going to be more negative, so my answer should be negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 7, and I'm going to subtract a 2.3 from it. We'll write 7.0 right there, um, just to give a place value, and let's go. 0 minus 3, can't do that. 7 turns into a 6, this becomes a 1. 10 minus 3 is a 7, good, that's one place right there. 6 minus 2 is a 4, and so negative 7 plus a 2.3, or 7, or negative 7, or 7 and minus 2.3, the difference, but it had to be negative, is a negative 4.7 here. And are our left and right hand side equal? Yes, they are. Confirming that y equals negative 7 is a solution to our equation. I hope you learned something here on how to solve equations with decimals. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.